everybody, welcome back to another video of Lego Chats with Jax. Today we will be reviewing C3PO, oh, you can't see that now can you? R2D2, can't see that one either, and BB-8. So I say we start off with the smallest one which is BB-8. He's so small I need to get him closer to the camera there. He has, I believe that this is a new bolt mold just for, I mean, not just for BB-8, but I think this first time that LEGO used this mold was for BB-8, but I could be wrong, like I've probably been before, uh, but like, it has really nice printing all around him, I'll just actually just spin it around there, his head, I think the only other thing that has this, is it, is it an Ewok from Star Wars that I know of? right off my head. Uh, I don't know if it's actually an Ewok, but you know that one thing that's kind of cute from Star Wars, those weird little bird, bear looking things? Ewoks. Yeah, I think they're Ewoks. They're Ewoks. But this is a really cool head for BB-8. You could see his eyes and then it is a 360 printing, which Lego really does, but it's not a normal minifigure. Well, then let's move on to our next not normal minifigure, because it's not a minifigure. It is R2-D2. He is one of my favorites. He has nice front printing on his, like, uh, main body. There's nothing on the back. His head, I believe, is a new mold for R2-D2. Uh, like... But I don't think so, actually. I could be wrong. Uh, so he has top head printing, uh, lines all the way around his head, his, like, eyes on the front, and that thing on the back. He is, he is four pieces, so you could take him apart. Like so. And how you put them together is these, I think they're Technic pins, and you just shove them into these holes on the side of him. And then there's four studs on top to put in his head. Well, that's pretty much all for him. And how uh, BB-8 works is this stud on top. There's an open hole on the bottom, and you just stick him on top. But anyways, next up is the only one of my droids that I own that are actually a minifigure-looking thing, except that he has a newly molded head. Like they, it's not a normal minifigure head, although it does attach the same through the neck. Although he has really, 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 really nice printing. No arm, no side arm printing, no side torso printing, and no side leg printing either. But he does have back torso printing and front leg printing. They're not dual molded legs or anything, but that's pretty much it. I don't know if his head is dual molded or not because I don't understand how that works. But yeah, that's pretty much it. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to give you a preview to what my next video is gonna be. So I'm gonna slide the thing across, see if you guessed it, okay? I'm not doing it again, so. Comment down below if you guess, could you guess what my next video is going to be. All right, well, that's all. Lego Chess with Jack signing off. Peace.